Louisiana, Louisiana Beer Reviews, Czech Lager Beer, premium quality Czech Lager Beer from a store called Little Lidl, L-I-D-L, and this was purchased for me and sent to me by Doug in Virginia. Thank you, Douglas. Now, the actual name, the American name is Czech Lager, but the actual name is August 12 Majestic. And uh, this is the first English language review for this beer in the world. Lager, it says, brewed in the Czech Republic using the best locally sourced ingredients, lager beer, or as it says over here in the corner, August 12 Majestic, is the product of Czech brewing craft that has been passed down for generations over centuries. The result is the emergence of this Czech lager beer of excellent quality, characterized by full-bodied flavor, fiery color, and creamy foam. Cellar matured for 35 days. 4.8% alcohol in this half-liter bottle, best before November 7, 2021. Imported by Riverside Imports, Brooklyn, New York, product of the Czech Republic. Uh, now the brewery, I can't remember the name of it. Um, I'll put that in the notes. That was established in 1540. Well, they say records go back to 1540 for the brewery. And then they said they were acquired by the Schwarzenberg family in 1711, and they owned it for over 200 years, probably until 1948 when the communists seized all the private property. So of course, the Czech Republic as an independent country wasn't established till 1993 and it was part of the Czechoslovakia Republic, Czechoslovakia from 1918 until 93, okay? Uh, before that, it, it was part of, it was one of the Austrian realms, the Kingdom of Bohemia, one of the Austrian Habsburg realms. So, in Austrian territory. Austria used to be this big Central Eastern European country Empire. Well, the country Austria has never been big, but they ruled a lot of territory. Northern Italy, Bohemia, that's what is today the Czech Republic. Um, parts of Ukraine, Galicia, Galicia. They even ruled Belgium. It's called the Austrian Netherlands, believe it or not. All right. Uh, Very full of chunks. So it's golden. It looks clear from a distance, but with the sun now out after the big rain, you can see just an incredible amount of not so, a lot of powdery or like, looks like a dust and then fairly big white chunks. So this is not the most filtered thing. Might hear a little crackle. All right, so in America, we don't have a Lytle or Little here yet, but I guess it'll show up one day. Trader Joe's is here. They claim that there's some rumors that uh, Aldi is coming. But check Lager, beautiful spongy white head. And I talked about that on the bottle. scores of uh, beer advocate says it's okay where's my paper oh. beer advocate says it's okay 76 out of 100 untap's got a 55 out of 100 which is kind of like what they would call okay and then rape beer gives it an 8 out of 100 <laughs> check pilsner that's the actual style of this and a 9 out of 100 in the style check uh, pilsner so wow an 8 out of 100, wish me the best. Thanks again, Doug. Smells like rich um, Central European barley malt type thing. Sweet biscuity thing. Appearance is an A, the smell is an A, so hmm, it's going to have to really fall off bad to go down to the 8 on the taste. Now that could be the tragedy right here. He said it runs about $1.99 for this big bottle over there at that store, singles. 
Whoa, very bitter. The IBUs must be 35. It's got that Czech Pilsner bitterness. Grassy bitterness from, I guess, those noble hops. What are they? Hyler Tower, Tetning, Tetning, I don't know. Um, incredible. I'm not tasting an eighth. Maybe I'd go down to an 88 if I was, uh, you know, if I had some kind of agenda against this company or the beer. And I don't. I don't know anything really about them except what I just told you. Um, medium body, almost you could say high medium. Not heavy body, of course, but it's got a full body. Little slickness in the mouth feel. And the finish is um, dry. Um, I don't know where these crazy scores come from. This thing is great. It's fabulous, really. It's a store brand here in the USA. Kind of like Varenis Gruna is uh, sold only through um, Aldi. But it's not a store brand in Europe. And I don't think this is a store brand in Europe. It'll have a different label. It'll say Argus 12 Majestic. It'll probably be an all Czech. I'm not sure what the 12 means. I think it's 12 degrees Plato, but I could be wrong because they've got different degrees uh, thing listed. I've got to go back and do some more research on that website. Uh, they weren't listing this as one of their brands, but, um, you know, these companies, they'll do that. They'll sell stuff under alias names. Be curious if they make an Ator, you know, like a strong doppel. Hell is Doppelbach, that'd be cool. It'd be cool for them. We'd probably never get it. We haven't we still have not gotten the the cannon, Rolls Cannon, eleven percent. We do get that eleven percent. What's that one in the dark? And the brown 11.2 ounce bottle. Was it Kronbacher? I think it's an 11% one. The number 20. Can't remember. I saw it the other day. The 28. So it's, a, it's a strong one. Anyway, um, if this is not a 95, they don't make 95 out of 100 beers. I'm telling you right now. This is a winner. This is an A beer. It's a most excellent Czech Pilsner, and that, and I am unanimous in that. <laughs> um, so Laissez Les Bonton Relay, a fabulous product. Thanks again, Douglas, because I never would have seen it around here. I mean, that doesn't mean a Lytle wouldn't open up later this year. Yeah, it could happen. So I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all go to the Czech Republic after all the humbug blows over, you know, with the hobgoblin situation. And tour their breweries.